All right, in this tutorial, we're making the moon um, in a cube. All right, so load up Blender. All right, so the first step is to grab the cube. Okay, go to your shading tab, delete the principal BSDF. In the description, there will be a file that you can append into this. So once you've appended your file, you'll have this race sphere intersection function. Take a geometry position, plug position into position in, and then incoming into vector in. Give it a radius, like one. And then we grab the length, or the magnitude of this, less than the radius plus uh, right, radius plus um, one divided by 100,000. Or 1 over 100,000. Multiply this by the far intersection. If you dot the normal of an object by a vector, you can simulate lighting like this. So we're just going to do the same thing in, in here. So just grab a dot product and set your light direction. There we go. Grab a combine XYZ. This is going to be the light direction. Light direction, I want to set a maximum of zero. Multiply this by another file that you can append from the file in the description called Fresnel. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the race sphere intersection, you don't need to do this, but I've taken the race sphere intersection function and just grouped it into this, it's called sphere normal. Um, vector in is our incoming geometry. The IOR, uh, which is what the slider is, is the IOR of, or is going to be the IOR of moon rocks. IOR of a standard dielectric is 1.45. Moon rocks are about 2.5. Multiply this by this. IOR is 2.5. Then we need to say IOR minus 1 divided by IOR plus 1 to the power of 2 divided by 0 0.08. This is our lighting setup. So what you can go ahead and do is group this. And this is our sphere lighting. Okay, so that's done, but it's uh, not looking like um, like this. Grab a moon texture of your choice. I've already got one here. Plug the color into the surface. You'll notice that, oh, hey, it's not a sphere. We need this sphere normal. Bring the normal out all the way to here. Plug that into the vector. Surely this will work. It's not mapped correctly. Change this to sphere projection. Separate the X, Y, and Z components and add 0.5. Plug these all together. But now if we plug this into the vector, we've got our moon properly mapped. So we've got this lighting. We've got our moon. Multiply this diffuse by the lighting. Scale. Scale by lighting out. There you go. Almost looks real. <laughs> so that is how you make the moon in Blender. That's a relatively simple setup. Uh, you can also change the radius if you just control these two values and change this radius. Fun experimenting around with this. Um, my email is in the about me. Feel free to send me your final final products if you do this and uh goodbye